We're going to have a fun and exciting segment here. We're talking with the Chattanooga Red Wolves Soccer Club head coach Jimmy Ableda and player Connor Doyle. Welcome, guys. Thanks for having us. Uh, glad to have you on here. So, uh, Coach, you we asked you to uh, provide the best-looking player on the team, and Connor is sitting there to talk a little bit about this year's season. I certainly hope the guys don't hold that against you, sir. Um, but it's going to be a new energy this season. You are in CHI Memorial Stadium, 5,500 seats. Tell me what that means to the team. Well, I mean, we talked about today. I mean, you get to make history. You get to be the first player and team to ever set foot in that stadium. And once that stadium is is packed and fully with everyone, it's going to be something for, for of amazement. So, you know, it means a lot. You know, it means a lot for the players. It means a lot for ourselves, the staff, to, to be able to to be that uh, first team to, to play. That's incredible. Now, Connor, I would have to imagine with being the guy on the field, the one that's out there and the, the fans are going crazy, what kind of energy does fan input bring to you as a player? It, it affects your play. I would guess it psychs you up, gets you moving. Share a little bit. What do you want to hear from your fans when you're out there? Just to be loud and keep us going. I mean, it's obviously – it's been a tough, long stretch of not playing much. So those last kind of 10, 15 minutes of of the game where when we're winning or something, just to kind of help us over that line to see out the game and, and be there for us when it's over. You both have fascinating histories. Uh, Coach was a professional soccer player, um, and uh, he's 48, he tells me. I'm not buying that. And, uh, Connor, your dad – was a professional soccer player. You guys are living the dream. Is it as glamorous and awesome from the inside as it is to us who are sitting on the outside going, man, I, I, I wish that was me? I'll leave that answer to Connor. <laughs> no, yeah, I think so. I mean, I've been doing it now for 10 years, and every year it's just, it just it never gets old being able to go out and, and do what I love doing and, and what we love doing and um, just, yeah, being able to, to go out every day and kind of continue to play soccer and be a part of a team and be around 20, 22 guys that also love the game and love, love what they do. And, and I mean, it's, it's pretty special every day. It's, it's a, it's a cool moment to be able to walk out and still play soccer and do it at somewhat of a decent ability. Yeah, no, I somewhat, I, I would say so. Coach, uh, your players had to wait. You were supposed to have an April start to the season. Here we are starting this Saturday, August 1st. It's going to be your first game. What What do you do as a coach? How do you keep your players uh, in shape and motivated? You know, it was it – was... It was a long haul, you know. I think keeping them, seeing that at the end of the at the end of the road, at the end of the the rainbow, there's a pot of gold that eventually we're going to play. Um, you know, it was it was hard because with all the questions of with the pandemic and when we were to play and were we going to have a season or not. So, you know, really just keeping them focused and staying positive that we are going to play and. And in between the interims there, giving them work to do on their own work. We did group work, um, Zoom sessions, uh, Zoom activities. We did yoga. We did everything possible. We gave them individual works to do on their own in parks and, and places of fields that they had. And then we did some team building. You know, we had a scavenger hunt one day where they got in groups like with their ones they live with in their, their apartments and in their complex and um and went around the city of chattanooga and picked up clues that me and my assistant went and dropped off throughout the day so it's just trying to keep them keep them focused keep them motivated and keep them seeing what uh what we're going to be doing here in in a couple of a couple of days now connor was that hard for you i mean COVID hit us in in march when we really became aware of it and things started shutting down you were you're about to start your season you were probably in peak condition was it difficult to keep yourself in that peak condition um, a little bit. I mean, it was, I think the toughest part was, I think we were a week away from our season starting. So, I mean, it was right there. It was, it, it, we could all kind of taste it and feel it and we were getting ready for a game week. Um, but the stretch of a few months that we had off, I think, like Jimmy said, it just, the fact that we were able to kind of get together and do the Zoom workouts and, 
um, Kev kind of set up some things, uh, our assistant coach, to where it did keep us in shape and just kept us kind of locked into what we needed to do. And we kept hearing maybe this week, maybe this week, maybe this month. And I think that kind of pushed us towards continuing and staying locked into what we needed to do to be ready for what's finally here. I've got to ask you, are you getting recognized when you're out and about? Do you have that, that fan uh, that says, Hey, Hey, dad, there's Connor Doyle. Are, are you, are you seeing or hearing of that, any of that yet? Or, or is it going to be this season that, that brings that to the forefront? Yeah, not quite yet. Um, I think with obviously with the new stadium and, and people probably excited to come out and, and see that and kind of be in the stands for that, I think you'll start seeing a lot more of our guys getting recognized out around town and downtown and things like that. Well, I am personally excited. I look forward to seeing this. You guys, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule. But I want to urge Chad Nugent, you want to have some fun, come out and watch these guys play soccer. It's amazing, the energy. I don't know how these young men do that, but it's phenomenal. Uh, if you look at a coach there, um, 48 years old, tells me he can't hang with these guys, and, and I couldn't begin to hang with him. So it's going to be a lot of fun. CHI Memorial Stadium, August 1st, the first game. Let's support this local team. And, uh, Coach, you used the term, our house or our fortress. Share your philosophy behind that before we let you go. Yeah, you know, I mean, there's not going to be many teams in America in soccer that have a stadium like we have. And we need to make it a place where, where teams come to visit and they go, we don't want to go back there. And that starts with the supporters. That starts with the fans. That starts with the environment that they create, loud drums, um, chants, um, to really make it uh, a place, a fortress for us where teams come and, and they don't um, – you know, they feel the pressure of the 12th player, which is the fans. You know, um, I know, as Connor said before, it's important that we have them cheering us on and pushing us forward, but also for the opponent to feel like, wow, that's not uh, that's not everyday place that we want to go and play. And, and fans may not realize it, but they do have an, an effect on the game and especially loud ones and ones that are very vibrant and, and supporting of their team. I mean, it's all over the world and we want to try to create that here in uh, – or we'd like our fans to try to create that here in uh, in Chattanooga. You will hear my voice. I can be loud. Some people say annoying, but I'll just say loud and supportive. Gentlemen, thanks so much for your time. I wish you the best of luck this season, and this has been truly enjoyable for me. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very Thank you. much. Please like and share this video, like our page, and subscribe to our channel. Nuga Connection is sponsored by my law firm, The Davis Firm. I'm Scott Davis. If you've been injured in a car accident or due to the fault of someone else, put my 15 years as an insurance defense lawyer working for the dark side to work for you. Protect yourself, protect your family. You can find us online at nugalaw.com.